And just like I expected, as the temperatures outside start to go up, so do the earnings. So let's jump into it. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel where I talk about the general everyday things that we go through in life with side hustles, DIY projects, all that stuff. We are going over our monthly review of the Amazon Influencer Program. We're going to do March. I know that I am a little over a week late on that, but my dad actually had a heart attack last week. So obviously that is a lot more important than this so i was busy helping him with all of that stuff and he is good now he's out of the hospital so we're all good i'm here now march earnings were good we're going to look into those as we talked about in previous videos you know we started off in january was the lowest month that we've had in a while and it's steadily supposed to increase throughout the year and if you're just now getting into the amazon influencer program or thinking about getting into it as always i have a free beginner guide in the description below so just go to that, it's completely free, and it'll help you get started in this program. And before we jump at these numbers, as always, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you can help support this channel and help it grow. It's the easiest way to do that. And after we get done with the numbers, I always give you some sort of tip to help you grow in this program and make more money because that's what we're all here for. So now let's jump into the earnings for March. So we have our chart here, as always, and I removed 2023's numbers because it was getting way too bulky so i was losing room on the page but you can go see previous videos to see all those and then as always these are uh, general rounded off numbers instead of the exacts to comply with amazon's policies not trying to get in trouble with all that but let's jump right into it so march had 31 days in the month and as far as videos added if you've watched any of my previous videos i'm always criticizing myself because i don't put nearly enough effort into this program as I should because it's super easy. I never add enough videos. The past few months have been terrible. You can see the 11 and 13. And when I was doing this chart for this video, I was shocked and embarrassed of what you're about to see. So videos added for the month of March when I'm supposed to be doing better was five. That sucks. There's literally no excuse for it. I don't even know how it happened. Like I said, when I was doing this chart and going back through and getting my numbers together, I'm like, did I really only do five videos? So that is terrible. That's unacceptable. I could be making so much more money in this program, just like you, and I only did five. So get after me in the comments because I'm supposed to be doing better than that. And I keep saying that every month and it seems like I'm getting worse. So I don't know. So that uh, brings our total videos up to 125 total on the platform. And then we start to get into the real numbers here. Clicks, as you can see in January, around 1480, then went up to 1570. In March, we went up to 1840 clicks. Clicks is when someone is on the product page, they're going through the images of that product. They go to the video section. All these videos are here and they decide to actually click onto my video. The more people clicking, theoretically, the more sales you get, the more commissions you get. So an increase in clicks is always good. So you can see people are starting to get more active on Amazon, buying more things as we get closer to spring and summertime. Sales, we went 160 in January, 190 last month, and then March jumped up to about 250. Same pattern as with the clicks, we're steadily increasing each month. Uh, the 250 sales translated to monthly revenue. As always, revenue is not the amount of money I made, it's the amount of money the sellers of the products made. So if a product costs $100 and you sold one of them, that's $100 in revenue before expenses and stuff. That's not my commission. So we're just under 12,000 in January revenue, a little over 16,000 February revenue, but the 250 sales in March led to just under $19,000 in revenue for the sellers from my sales. As always, more revenue, typically more commissions for me, so it's always good. Then the monthly earnings, just for the influencer side, uh, we made 290 in January. We went up to 450 in February, and then for March, we went up to $575 in earnings just from the influencer side. If we had my last year's numbers, that would be my highest month other than the Christmas months of November and December. So the numbers just keep getting better and better. 575 is nothing to joke about for as easy as this is. This is the easiest $575 you'll ever make. Last month I added this 
column here to the chart because I think it's really important because we have these earnings here, but the days of the month are obviously different. So that gives you a more accurate understanding. And as you can see in February, even though we had less days, uh, you know, we made $16 a day instead of nine in January. So that's a number that you really want to focus on. And in March, we jumped up to $19 a day. Nothing really more to say about that besides the more dollars per day. That is one of the most important numbers that you can look at right there. So uh, then we go to the affiliate side. That's, you know, off of Amazon. If you can drive traffic, I haven't put a lot of effort into it. Last video, I talked about how you can grow that side. So make sure you go watch that. But I don't put a lot of effort into it and don't make a lot of uh, money from it. For the affiliate earnings for March, I made $2. And uh, for total year to date earnings, just combining not partnerships or anything, but just the influencer and affiliate side, that brings us up to a little over $1,300 for the year so far in something that you're using stuff that's already in your house, didn't cost you any money to do. You cannot beat that. And then my favorite part with uh, partnerships where they can send you products for free and you can, if you can neg negotiate it, you can get them to pay you on top of that. Partnerships is always one of my favorite spots. As you can see, last month made $170 just from the partnerships paying me and then got five free items. Now this month, the numbers don't look really good. I'll show you right here, $20 payment, and then I got one free item. But that's because a lot of uh, the partnerships stuff that I worked out this past month ended up coming right at the end of the month into the beginning of April. And I don't count the numbers until I've actually worked with the product and done the video and gotten paid and all that. So that'll be in April, but I will tell you that April's partnerships have already made more than January and we're in, the, you know, just out of the first week of April. So the partnerships are good. It's just the way that the dates worked out this past month didn't look really good on here. So that's just a look at our normal chart. So now that we looked at the numbers, it's time for just a general, thing that I can come up with to help you grow in this program and make more money, increase, increase your commissions and all that stuff. So for this month, I want to talk about the timing of which products you decide to review in your house. Obviously, you're just trying to review as much stuff as you can in your house. But one thing that you need to pay attention to, whether it be buying products at a certain time of the year or just choosing which ones you're going to review next, think about the time of year that you are going into. Right now we're getting into spring and summer months. So like if I had Christmas lights in my house, I'm going to put the, at, put that at the bottom of the list of things that I'm going to review because not many people are going to be buying Christmas lights coming up in these next couple of months. So what you would want to do to try to get the most amount of money for the summer would be any products that I have that are that are more for springtime, summertime, gardening, pool supplies, whatever. You want to review those now so that way you can get them uploaded and into the system and they can start circulating through the product pages because people are starting to shop for that. And you usually want to be a little bit ahead of the time. So like if you were in November, beginning of December, and you know that everybody has a New Year's resolution of wanting to work out and all that stuff, then November, December would be the best time to review you know, workout equipment because a lot of people are going to be buying that stuff coming up. That's just a thing to think about when you're looking around your house and going down your list of things that you need to review. Just pay attention to what time of the year is coming up. Those particular products are going to be increasing in sales. So that's more money for you at that particular time. So that is my tip for the week with all that. And as always, I have the free beginner guide in the description below to help you get started in the program. And maybe if, if you've even get, gotten started, it'll, it'll just explain this program a little bit to you and don't forget to you know give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it's the completely free way for you to support this channel and help this channel grow so i can continue to put time and effort into even making videos like this and i know your time is valuable so as always i greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch these videos i hope that the video helped you and i will see you all next time